Out, written by Angela May George and illustrated by Owen Swan. I feel different. It's the way people stare. I'm called an asylum seeker, but that's not my name. I've seen horrible things, and they've shown me what it is to be brave. Brave is waiting and believing in your heart that everything will be okay. I camped with my mother when we hid from the men with guns. We wrapped ourselves in thick, dusty blankets. The night was filled with noises. I listened to the river, for the river knew the way out of the forest. We came here on a boat. Our trip took so long. Sometimes I wondered if I would ever walk on grass again. We were surrounded by water, but it was too salty to drink. Instead, we drank the rainwater that collected in big drums. On days when our tummies rumbled, we whispered our favorite foods to each other. My mother learned to catch fish with just a line and a hook. At night, my mother sang to me and played with my hair. By day, my mother told me stories of home. Now that we're here, life on the boat seems so long ago. These days, I run to win races. These days, we camp for fun. But some days, when there's a loud bang, I drop to the floor. We are very lucky, Mom says. She has a job now, and we have a safe place to live. My mother is strong. She protects me. I wish my dad were here to protect her. I miss him so much. Mom and I try to imagine where he might be now, maybe still in the refugee camp. But he's fast like me. That's how I know he's okay. At school, we dance. The music is different from ours, but when I close my eyes and spin, I can hear my dad singing and clapping. It almost feels like he's here with me. We live with Soraya, a lady we met on the boat. She has sparkly eyes and makes me giggle. We both help mom with her English lessons. Soraya has bought a car. We will explore this beautiful country together, Mom sings. When we drive to the beach, I remember the boat. But now, with the smell of the ocean and the taste of the salty air, I feel safe. I feel free. This morning, I found Mom laughing and crying and dancing around. I asked her why she was so happy. She just smiled and said, You'll see. My dad.